all right welcome back to behind the scenes of unknown and talented we are in belize city we're chilling we're vibing how, how you doing baby i'm good my name is jalon abrams and i'm here with my baby girl Sharnay Janice. All right. And we were talking about you, you, your turn now. Hello. Um, so we're here. We're on vacation. We're in the beautiful islands of San Pedro, Belize, and uh, no better place than here to have a conversation about rest and relaxation and how it recharges you and refocuses you um, as an entrepreneur, as a content creator, um, just being able to, I think, give focus and reason to why you're doing the work that you do so that you can have moments like this yeah i'm i'm so excited we've been here this is what day six yeah yeah this is the longest vacation i've ever had and being able to you know take a break from work even content creation i know we are on vacation now we are creating this on vacation but we're still are uh, taking a break on you know recharging i think this is you know very very important to do um, so I have a question for you because you always question me on these things. How do you feel? Actually, let's keep it fun. How do you feel this vacation is going so far? Good. It's been so much fun. So this vacation is um, twofold because we are here with family. Uh, we're celebrating uh, his aunt's, um, his aunt and uncle's uh, 20 year anniversary. Boat, 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 boat. Um, so in part, we are here on a family vacation. Um, in part, this is like one of the longest vacations that we have taken um, as a couple. So um, it was a lot of spaces where we've just done things together and got to know each other better, but then also just being around loved ones and building relationships. So that that's made this, I think, really special. Yeah. Yeah. And I just feel like I'm having a ball, like I'm having a ball with my family being able to hang out with Charnay as well, introducing her to that lifestyle. We out here party last night, we dancing. I don't know if I have any clips, but we was out there dancing around <laughs> um, yesterday. So we just, having, we just having a ball. And I just wanna, the reason why we're doing this episode, we just wanna say the importance of rest, of taking a break. You know, every time we're racing after our goal, we're going, we're going, but the importance of taking a break and slowing down. So to enjoy what you're doing, you're working towards something, but you still want to make sure you're enjoying it, you know, because even going on a trip, I believe we left on Sunday, right? Yeah. And Saturday, Charney was on the laptop, you know, closing deals, you know, yeah. so just speak, speak more of that of like your, your experience with trying to have a rest from, you know, your, the nine to five. Yeah, I think it's moments like this, again, just like affirm why the work I do is so valuable. But yeah, we had... Um, a deadline that happened like weekend before this trip and i was like cool great uh, but i still have to work still have to get all of that done still close deals working on the weekend um and so i i am blessed that i'm able to be fully off i have a colleague at work who's covering my emails and pipelines i'm not gonna lie i have checked my slack a couple times no one has needed me um, and i think sometimes that's a good thing like i know sometimes we've been on the bad side of like oh like if something happened to you somebody would take your spot blah, 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 blah. but also when you're in a space where it's like i can step away and you know you have a team that's going to take care of everything like i can step away and things will go on. Like, I think even just the balance of that, like I've been experiencing some burnout in work. It's been really busy, but having moments when you realize like, I could, I could not be there and everything's still gonna flow. So if I'm having moments when I'm present, but not there, it's okay. Like just letting yourself regroup mentally and get back in the game. Like you aren't stopping a full functionality of something. I think sometimes for me, the weight of the work that I'm blessed to do also makes me like tired and having moments where I'm like, let's get to rest. I don't have to do anything. And I know that the show will go on without me. It gives me more comfort to get back in. And I'm not like having to rush and pace. Like my team has been doing what they need to do. So I think that's the beauty of, of everything. So, um, so, so talk more about that that burnout because right now we are on a vacation for seven yeah. days but talk about those times where you are burned out at work what are you doing because you can't go on vacation every week yeah i think for me a lot of like places of rest um as much as it can feel a little backwards like there's certain work that doesn't 
feel as much like work. Like for me, when I do creative projects and I'm doing DIYs and like, there's a lot of things I do that I don't record just so it feels like rest. You know, when I'm recording it, when I'm editing it, then like, that's the work. But when I just take some time, get a canvas, get a paintbrush, have my sketch pad, you know, I love, you know, manicures, pedicures, we're gonna get massages while we're here. Like all of those things are just like small spaces of rest that I find within my day to day. Um, and then I think within the burnout, it's like when you have those consistent things that you do that usually bring you back to center and it's not hitting, then that's when it's like, okay, something bigger is needed. So I think this was that perfect space of like, I've been doing all my small things that usually keep me grounded, but I just needed something a little, a little bigger that really just gave me a full week away and being able to detach and just reframe everything and reframe my why and like why I'm doing what I do so that we can be able to do this consistently. You know, we, there are a lot of families here that have their children here and, you know, being able to take our children to do things like this and be out here, like all of that makes you remember like, okay, that's why I care about, you know, the work that I'm doing so much. Uh, that's why it's so valuable for me to invest in the other creative things that I'm doing. Yeah. You know, and I think for me is that I, I work my nine to five and I'm also creative as well. So I'm working my nine to five when I get off, I'm creating as well. So it's like, I'm having double the work. So for me, it's definitely really important to take breaks. I don't do a good job at it, especially I'm not like you under the pedicures, the massages and everything like that. So being with Charlene and she's actually learning how she's able to not burn out. Cause it, it is, you know, it's hard to burn out. I, I've had multiple times where I did a hundred day challenge, 30 day challenge where I'm posting every single day. So those things are, you know, after you get to the end of that, you are burned out. And then I take off week, weeks, but you really can't do that, especially if we're chasing this entrepreneurship, we're chasing being content creators. We can't do that because, you know, we're gonna have to continuously do it. You know, after you, you um, work, you're gonna have to run after this goal because you're trying to make all that money. So I think it is important and I'm just happy that, you know, Sharni is able to introduce me to her world of, you know, rest. Yeah, and I think another thing, um a podcaster that I follow, he posted that like he's doing a sabbatical, he's taking a month where like he's not posting anything, he's not creating anything. And so I think like we also owe it to ourselves to know like when we need rest and give yourself that space. Like, you know, even for I think he said last year when he did it, they pre created a lot of content and then posted it during that time and had it scheduled. But this time he was just like Y'all not going to hear from me. I'm going to come back, refresh, and I'll get back into it. And so um, I like that as well. I feel like the people who really care about what you do, like, they'll, like, they'll still be there. I had um, a content creator who I followed. She had an incident where, like, her items were stolen. Her valuables were taken. Her information was broken into. And she posts these dope affirmations I love. But, like, for a handful of weeks, she was just like... I just need to to be out. And as soon as she got back into it, I'm like, I'm gonna be plugged back in because she has incredible content. So when you really do the work, then the people who, you know, value what you do and then also creating that space of vulnerability and authenticity of saying that, like, I think it also encourages other people to know, like, it's okay to rest. Uh -huh. It's okay to take moments of rest. It's okay if they don't see you all, you know, I know we always joke because people will be like, okay, you know, taking a break and we'd be like, okay. And, but once you get to a certain level, there are certain people when you don't see them post, you're like, wait, what's going on with so-and-so? So just being like, hey, like, I'm just go ahead and let y'all know. Y'all won't hear from me. I'm good. Or maybe even I'm not good, but I just need a moment to unplug, step back, regroup. And like, that's okay. Yeah, I have a perfect analogy, which my dad always tells me. So there was two guys trying to cut down the tree. One guy, he's he's hitting the tree nonstop. He's hitting the tree, hitting the tree. And this other guy, he's hitting the tree for a little bit, stopping. Hitting the tree for a little bit, stopping. Who do you think I'll cut down the tree first? Definitely the gentleman who was taking breaks. And she's right. The person that was actually stopping, every time he was stopping, he was sharpening his axe. So mm -hmm. each time he's sharpening the axe, now he's able to go back at the other guy. He's just hitting away. The axe is dull now. So you take those breaks because now you're recharging. You're not, you don't have an axe to, <laughs> to sharpen, but that's what you're doing but with you're yourself. you're sharpening yourself. You know, you're sharpening your focus, your mm -hmm. perspective. 
Um, and so it is like a, a recharging, like you said, of yourself. Yeah. 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 That's fine. You dad be spitting. If y'all have ever <laughs> spoken to his dad, he, he I'm not just saying this to get brownie points with his dad. I really I love talking to his dad. He he's such a thought provoking person. Like and when he speaks, like he's very intentional. He carries so much wisdom. Mm -hmm. So that's fire. That's real though. Yeah, no, yeah. no, that's that's real. That's real. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> You're so silly. So I would say we have a conversation previously um, and spoke a little bit to rest and you said that wasn't an area that you're super strong at. So coming from this vacation, we're about to get thrown back into our day to day. But don't remind me. I know. But what are some things that from the experience are going to try to like carry over so that we create these these pockets of rest in your day to day or, you know, even just to remind you of this space of rest and mm -hmm. like us making more time to unplug in this way definitely schedule more like really plan out my day more because you already know you know you're nine to five you know those hours and just creating wise really plan out like what i'm going to do because i know what i'm going to do now i have the podcast i have you know the content i create on instagram tiktok so i kind of know everything i want to do so just plan that out and also plan you know our next ventures you know i want to start investing into different things so also having that time to you know work on the future so i think it's just the more I have to do is just plan the same way, you know, we, we know we're working from nine to five, do that same thing for my creative wise. Cause the hard, I think the hard thing about it is that let's say you want to sit down and create for an hour. I might still have them creative juices flowing. So it's kind of hard to stop. You know, I think that's probably the, probably the hardest thing. And I, I wouldn't tell anybody to stop when you're creating, cause when you're creating, you know, you got to do what you got to do, but just really try to plan out my day where, or probably just plan breaks. I was Brand, about to say, you talked yeah. a lot about planning your day. So are you yeah. going to like plan spaces of rest in there? Mm -hmm, like make mm -hmm. sure that that's, um, yeah, part of it, yeah, part I of think, it as well. I don't, I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to write it down. I'm not going to lie to the camera because this is my, you know, I'm, I'm real to y'all. So I got to make sure that, you know, yeah. this is something that I'm, I want to do. Yeah. I'm not saying right now I'm going to do it tomorrow, but this is going to be something that I think that is important to do because you have to plan this. Yeah. Yeah. What things are you going to do? I know you're doing them already. Is it something that you think you should change? I would say, um, I feel like someone posted, uh, that like something that they found, like they still do large trips, like what we did here, but then they do like monthly, um, like smaller getaways, like just to stay in like a hotel in their city or somewhere that they can drive a couple hours to. And so we have a couple like smaller trips coming up places we're going august september so i was going to try to like just look into what it would look like to carve some spaces of like doing something like this so just a small like lex activity so that uh again we're not waiting for like these big moments to have like a full week to still fill the breaks like every month we have a little space where we find like some rest and then i think we've been doing a good job with that though we have you know we did go to new york we did go to Asheville. those are two things I guess we haven't been doing a good job because we been yeah, that's not a good job. Yeah. We're gonna step it up. Yeah. We're step it up. We, and we've been doing a lot. We have a lot of things that we've been we've been doing, working on personal yeah. life. So I think that's that's also in part why we haven't done as much mm -hmm. rest because we've been working. So speak of speaking more on um that point you were saying. I know do see a lot of people that they do like staycations yeah. where they are getting that hotel in the city they are they're in and just living life. What do you think about that? I've never I've seen that. Yeah. But then I'll just like, do I really want to spend, you know, 200, 300 for a hotel and I live in town? Yeah, no, I think I like it. I like the concept of the change of pace or even like um, I had a homegirl for her birthday. She drove somewhere that was just like an hour or so away and they had like a full like spa set up where they did like a body mask, a facial wrap, like things like that. But like we i'll tell you how much you spent it's not y'all business but we spent a, a you know a grip to be here for a week so to spend a couple hundred once a month to have a moment you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. i don't think that's if it gives us that same feeling and something it may be something that we tried and we were like eh this isn't great we may try it and be like this is so cool we just drove a couple hours up to you know to um yeah to raleigh or tennessee or somewhere you know what i'm saying yeah. like and mm -hmm. it just felt like such a just like oh oof, you know so because even Asheville was really fun really when we fun, did yeah. that in the fall and it was just an overnight trip but mm -hmm. just being there the leaves changing colors hiking i think that was good so i think yeah taking more times like that to just 
do those smaller staycations or like easy couple hours the thing i love so much about north carolina is you're like a couple hours from mountains a couple hours from beach so you really can be anywhere in a matter of a couple hours nothing's an awful drive mm -hmm. so we definitely have that space to to try some of those things and see if it just gives more more breaks what do you think about in your city so like mm -hmm. let's say for example somebody hasn't hasn't went anywhere for a while mm -hmm. and you know driving could be expensive you know gas and stuff do you think about having that spot where you're at like let's say the hotel is not far it's a really nice hotel i think it depends what city you're in okay i don't know how much you disclose about where where you live on the podcast yeah well, um, they, they probably know yeah. but our city we're in like a pretty like vibrant city where there's like a lot of really nice hotels really nice like packages and things so like for where we're at i think we could definitely do that so even like where i'm from it's a smaller like a smaller city where there's not like a lot of lux things so if yeah. you were there it's like you would at least want to make the hour to drive into like our main city or you gotcha, know what I'm saying? Gotcha, somewhere gotcha. like that so i feel gotcha. like if you can even just make like an hour drive depending on where you're at just to get to somewhere that is a little more you know in the mix where you can be you know exposed to something that feels different something that feels different from your day-to-day -day. because even for us we still don't go into like the main part of our city that much so i still feel like going in and staying in like uptown one of the like you know um mm -hmm. what's it called you know like the rooftop Hotel, yeah, and, like that would still things. be yeah, yeah it would still be like a vibe just mm -hmm. to do something different so yeah i okay. wouldn't be opposed to that um, what I want to move into now is the work to get here, the work to be able to say, yo, I'm going on a seven day vacation. Because I do remember we went to TJ Maxx or Marshall, one of them stores. We went everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so we, pretty much we went last minute shopping to buy. I actually bought this from TJ Maxx. Shout out to TJ Maxx. You know what I'm saying? Sponsor us. We can get some deals. <laughs> but we went there. We were buying swim trunks and buying pretty much, you know, all these little items to be able to get here. And then we got to the register and the lady said, oh, so y'all going on vacation? She said, yeah, where y'all going? And then Belie, she said, hmm, that must be nice. Like, she was kind of like, I don't know if she felt, was she jealous? It was, it was something, or she was like, I, she pretty much was saying that she would never do it or something like that. I don't know if I read it that way. It was like, from my vantage, we were like, she's like, oh, you know, y'all are going on vacation. And we're like, yeah, we're like, we're going to Belize. And she was like, oh, like, it was more like, like, oh, like, look at yeah, you. But then right, it right. was, it was more like hype, like, okay, like, I see y'all. But like, she was just like, you know, that, but then it leaned into the must be nice, which I don't know. I didn't read this jealousy. I think there's sometimes like where people just know, like, they're not in a situation or they don't feel like they're in a situation to do that. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, you always get a lot of, not always, but when you get a must be nice, it's usually like someone like ah you know like i couldn't do that or i don't yeah. feel like i could you can do, that, could do that um i mean i will say like it's a lot of work i mean we talked about burnout hustling nine to five like it's it's a lot um there's been changes at my job with a goal and you know how we do work and it's a startup it's fast paced i mean it's a lot of hustle around the work that i do but at the end of the day like I know that the work I do, a lot of my teammates, we work remote. So we travel, they work from different countries and different time zones and still hit their goal. Like we, we sort of set ourselves up for the, or we did set ourselves up for the life that we wanted. We knew the things that we wanted to do. So, um, I think, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, but I, I don't think it's something that's unattainable, but I think the hardest thing is depending on where you are in life. So backtrack, this is my first, I would say like, big girl vacation like where i have really been able to just do do what i wanted to do like i didn't have to worry about anything financially um and that's a blessing i remember it was like my sophomore year in college i went on a cruise with my sister and i would you know i'm in college so i'm working at the bookstore i'm just like but i was remember i was just like putting back any little bit and it's like it was a very minimal amount but with like the cruises you can pay like a little bit of the deposit and then pay a little bit each month so like it, it made it more attainable to be like, okay, I'm just going to pay this much this month and this much. I'm not going to lie. There was some credit card usage in there too. So it was like, I'll put this much on the car and then I'll pay this much off. And so 
you know don't run up a car that you can't pay off but i had to pay it off within probably six months after the trip uh and we didn't you know do any crazy excursions or anything like that but we're on the cruise we got to be there there were a lot of free events that um you're able to do um only thing we have to do is catch like the flight into florida but all of that to say that even if your numbers are a little bit tight there are different options that you can pursue that give you a little bit more systems of some payment plans, some, some break up in, in um, the finance piece, because I think it's something that if you have the opportunity to do, if you have some time that you can take off, it's, it's good to do. Like it, it really is good for you to um, have that experience. I know your sister was like, I feel like everyone should travel out of the country. Right. You know, I, I think if you have the opportunity to do it, you should. I think it just it changes your vantage, um, seeing how other people live and exposing to other cultures. We went out last night. We're not huge partiers, but um, it was speak for yourself. We're not huge partiers, uh, and like we're very much out of our element. But it was very beautiful to me being in there, and they were playing all kinds of different like you know they had the Caribbean music, they had hip hop music, they had some like pop music some latin. indian music latin music like it was just such a beautiful fusion of culture it's like for me that someone who doesn't even like this say like the party it was just a beautiful like musical experience it was just a beautiful like energy of all these different people just celebrating and enjoying life and being here and um i think that's like i'll never forget that i'll never forget just like seeing all the different fusions and everybody like just dancing and even if you didn't know it you were like okay like you're, you're like you know still still just enjoying the the beauty of it you know we were <laughs> we were at this restaurant we're walking and i hear screaming honey and i'm in another country so i hear screaming I'm like i'm out <laughs> period um and so i was like well, let's go the other way and then i was just like something to me was like it's okay and so i'm like no, let's go this way. So we went this way and the screen was actually um, children. I don't know if they were in summer school, but they're out there like playing basketball. And there was this like really beautiful mural that had uh, just like different like historical figures, one of them being Martin Luther King Jr. And it was just cool, like being in another country and seeing that that's something that they are like taught and aware of, like when thinking about cultural shifts and dynamics, like I think it just creates that that oneness with other people, with other places. It's been beautiful for real. No, it's, it's been, I don't even remember my question now. <laughs> just kept going, kept going. I just, I just went down a whole <laughs> rabbit hole. You asked me about the work to get here. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think to do this or to take those breaks, you're gonna have to put in, you might have to put in a little more work. You're gonna have to like sacrifice, you know, going out and eating, you know, you know, buying things on discount or, you know, chilling on buying all the sneakers because it's a beautiful experience like you come here you don't have to worry about any attitude everybody's enjoying life you know you're talking to random people in the elevator you don't do that in your, your spot you're in you know you see somebody in the elevator you're like no you're chilling but like when you see somebody else oh how you doing you know what you're doing here what stuff have you done you know you're having that conversation because everybody's on a relax mode and i just feel like it's just a it's a beautiful, just even looking at the water now, like and seeing the different, I'm going to have to pan to it, seeing the different, <laughs> the different colors in the water, you see people on the beach, we have like the um, lake view, it's just a beautiful thing, I think it's just the sacrifice, you know, working hard to, you know, get there, because for uh, my, my dream is to be able to do things like this four times a month, four times a year, you know, that's, that's my, I listened to a podcast, they said, minimum, he travels four times a year minimum that's minimum you know our, our maximum is one right now so you know i definitely want to be able to get there and it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of hard work it's gonna be having to get into different avenues and probably won't talk about that now what we're gonna do but we're just trying different things so we can get that more income so we can have that freedom of doing it because right now you're we're stuck in a rack race we have to do this to you know be able to go on these vacations but you know to try different things work on getting different streams of income we can have the flexibility to be able to go on trips four times a year, which would be beautiful. I mean, this was right now we're dark. We're dark skin. We love it. We love it, though, you know, but just <laughs> <laughs> but just being able to do this four times a year would be a crazy, you know, can, yeah. you, can you imagine? Like, that's I, I love this vacation. You to hang with family. Like I said, we were dancing, which is I don't even dance, you know, it's what, you know, that's what, it was just having fun. And I think everybody should experience this. Yeah, yeah. This is awesome. 
I would say, unless you have any other thoughts, I'll sort of land on. Um, you tell me I love him. All right, we're talking for 24 minutes. Okay. Good work. If you want to keep talking about it. You going to keep that in the podcast? Yeah, I keep, it, I keep it in there. Yeah, yeah, we got 24 minutes. Good. You can cut that out. Um, so when thinking about rest, um, I guess what, what has been like the most restful moment for you, like during this whole time, like when you just felt like completely like at peace. This entire time. Yeah. I think riding the back of the golf, golf cart. Cause I didn't have to drive. I didn't do it. I'm just sitting there, you know, driving around. Y'all want to go there? Yeah, I want to go here. And just being able to record in the back of the golf course. I think that's probably the most restful time. You know, not even having to think where we're going. GPS, left, right. You know, just just chilling. I think that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah. I think uh, we did a sunset cruise. And when we came back, the sun had started to go down. Um, and you're just, like, looking out into, like, all the different hues of blue over the ocean. And it was, like, this like just breeze i felt like it was just sort of like hugging you like it just felt so nice and we were just sitting beside each other and it, i just felt so peaceful listen we're we gonna talk about that real quick hold on let me set up a straight look but that was crazy so we went on this cruise right i don't know why you didn't want to why you why you got me here but we went on this cruise basically we're doing snork not yeah snorkeling um, swim with swim with sharks and they don't bite too. That's the crazy thing. The guy was explaining what like jaws it really made, you know, sharks very scary, but all sharks are not, you know, the is it the great white? What is it? I don't know what kind of sharks. What kind of shark well, well all the sharks aren't gonna be the killer killer sharks that you see on all these movies. Some of them are actually pretty friendly. So we saw some I don't know if they were well, I don't know if they were friendly, but they were blind and they weren't trying to eat anybody. Exactly. They because just weren't, they couldn't harm you too much. They weren't bothering them. They weren't mind. Yeah, because there was a bunch of fish around and pretty They're much they would come and eat the, the sardines. So they weren't eating the fish that were there. So they weren't really going to mess with us. Because yeah. if, if you think about it, if they were going to be really killers, why didn't they kill the fish that was around? You know, they weren't even attacking them. So why would they skip the fish and go to us? Which yeah. would be harder to eat. Yeah. So they were definitely not bad but the thing about this thing is like we're in the water right we have about 25 people on the boat trying to get back home it's about four hours it was the longest four hours i don't know this is this is not rest i don't know what it was i just felt stranded in the water and we were just thinking about the titanic the titan thinking of all this stuff so i'm just like yeah we're just out here and we don't know where we go it's getting dark the sun keeps going down because the, the, the part of it was going to, you know, to see the sunset. We didn't really even see the sunset because it was hiding behind the clouds. And now it's just getting dark because here it gets dark early. Yeah. So it was just getting dark. And then we're just on the boat like, yo. But I was, I think for me, I had this interesting space. Like when we were experiencing that, like for me, I felt like restful in it. I feel like around us, like everyone started getting a little stir crazy. And even thinking about rest, um, it was like. The crew that we had were incredible. They made sure that we were taken care of the whole time. They took us to each stop. They talked us through the snorkeling. They talked us through every process. They gave us food. And so we get through this whole whole situation where at no point had they ever made us feel not taken care of. And now they're bringing us back. They've done this a million times. They have incredible reviews. What is it about that last stretch that made everybody get so restless instead of embracing rest? Like. We know we're taken care of. You don't have to do anything. It's no, you can just get like a nice nap in. You can just chill. But everybody felt restless. Like I feel like it was this interesting sense of like, was it like the control or like we felt like we had more control when we could see or I don't know. I was just thinking about that a lot because I was just trying to, in that moment be like, well, let me just rest. Honestly, I was tired. Yeah. Like the whole time, like everybody sort of like we had some really good conversation, chit chatting. We talked a little bit, and then I was just like, man, I'm about to just just coach you know what i'm saying yeah. like at that point the crew had taken care of us all day we weren't hungry because we had ate so like it was really no reason to be too stressed but everybody was was not restful everybody was <laughs> was bugging <laughs> out a bit like ready to get off and just sort of stir crazy i think it's just like you said no control we didn't have control of what's going on usually we're driving we're walking but being in a boat in the ocean 
you can't even jump out and swim because the currents are crazy and then we're going to be in the middle so but you're right it was a restful thing but still yeah not having that control is kind of crazy yeah yeah it just made me i really just thought about that like in relationship to rest like when you don't feel like you have control when you feel like everything's happening around you like Sometimes that's the best moment to rest, right? Like mm -hmm. there's really nothing else to do but rest. So we, we can't drive the boat. I mean, I'm sitting here like, let me drive the boat. Girl, you're not know driving the boat. You know, you, you don't know how to adjust the sail. Like you really just have to to rest in the experience that you're having. There's mm -hmm. nothing we can do that can make it go faster. Yeah. Nothing we do that can make it go slower. And sometimes there are moments like that where like the only option you have is like to either rest and embrace that this is just a season I'm in. This is what I'm I'm dealing with. How can I make the best of it? Or to freak out. Freak out. Okay, so All but, right, let's wrap this baby up. <laughs> ah, that hasn't popped in my head. But yeah, so I think rest is an interesting thing because there's so many ways to to look at rest during chaotic moments, during moments where you don't feel like you have control, when you're trying to navigate spheres of just burnout. So I think rest is it's just something to embrace so many moments and it can look different so i just encourage yeah everybody to figure out what that looks like for them this was a really beautiful moment of rest for us yeah so yeah definitely take a vacation like i said if you don't want to come all the way to belize or you don't think you have enough to come to another country you no know, do small trips in your city a city a neighboring city mm -hmm. or just buckle down and try to you know save up to be able to take that vacation because i mean it's it's a it's a beautiful thing. The last three years I went, you know, somewhere overseas and I definitely loved it. So I definitely will say whatever you have to do, you know, to get that extra, you know, income to be able to do it, do it. You know, this is the entrepreneurship podcast, consecration podcast, you know, step that, you know, do your nine to five. Never say, I'm never saying quit your nine to five, do that nine to five, but try to get that entrepreneurship thing going. So you can be able to go on trips like this. Yeah. Any last minute thoughts? You good? Yeah, no, same. Definitely find rest, whatever that looks like. Create those spaces for yourself. Find classes, uh, you know, take walks. Like, everything doesn't have to be, you know, spending a lot of money to find rest. Uh, but like you said, if there are things that you really want to do, then be really intentional about creating that space for yourself. Because if you need it, then you deserve to... Um, to intentionalize what that looks like for you so that she can have that experience all right well this is oh you wrap it up hey boss. you know i got to i got to hit my signature um ending but yeah so uh if you don't already like comment subscribe share um if you are planning to go some places take some vacations um if you found some ways that are really helpful in creating rest for you definitely comment below we want to hear um, other ideas and concepts of like what restfulness looks like um self-care is so important um, but yeah this has been behind the scenes of unknown and talented coming from san pedro Valise. Uh, until next time <laughs> be easy <laughs> silly